Our faces say a lot about us. Whether we're happy, angry, or sad, facial expressions are a big part of how we communicate with each other. But what about when we can't see each other's faces? For teachers around the world, it's become a problem, including in Hong Kong. When most of Ka Tim Chu's classes went online, he struggled to stay connected to his students through the screen. When I'm standing in front of the classroom, I always observe the reaction and then the face, the emotion of students. We cannot see face-to-face -face teaching at this moment and we, we don't understand their progress. One solution is helping Chu to read the room. Artificial intelligence that analyzes students' emotions as they learn. It comes from a local startup, Find Solution AI. We develop motivation AI, especially to help kids using emotion detection to observe how they learn and motivate them to learn in a better way. We can motivate them by giving some easy questions. We will also give them some video chunks to guide them when they are not understanding something new. So it's like a teacher sitting next to the kid, but the teacher is not there, but it's the software. Lam says the software works via your webcam or camera, measuring the position of your eyes, eyebrows, mouth, and other features to detect for six emotions, happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, and surprise. For example, if the corners of your mouth are raised, this would tell the AI that you are happy, while a wrinkled nose would signal disgust. And the AI is pretty good at it, Lam says. For the accuracy, for the emotion detection, we scored around 85%. But can just six facial expressions really convey a range of feelings? According to experts, the answer, like emotion, is complex. So there are what we call primary emotions. So you can tell somebody's angry or sad or happy from any culture pretty easily. But there are others, what we call secondary emotions, that can be harder and can be cultural dependent and can be gender dependent. We're not able to recognize secondary emotions with such high accuracy. Machines can already do that better than some human beings. We would like to train the machines to be not just as good as humans, that it should be better than the average human. Find Solution AI is one of a number of developers racing to advance the technology. Already, Lam says the number of schools using its learning platform has more than doubled since the pandemic began. As users grow, so do concerns around privacy. In the classroom, we need to get their consent, right, to be a part of this program, to be monitored in terms of facial expressions. More importantly, uh, we need to explain to them how we use their data. Lam says Find Solutions AI software doesn't store videos or photos, and parents or students can always choose to turn off the camera. This feature could give the startup an edge as global demand grows for machines that can read our emotions. It's a business that's set to reach $56 billion by 2024. With benefits not just for the virtual classroom, but also the virtual workplace, from employee well-being to online meetings. During the webinar or during the video conferencing, you want to know if that person is engaging or they just turn on the camera, but that person is not literally there. So that is the reason why we also expecting to move forward to other industry. Face-to-face -face communication is still a way off for many people, but a solution in the meantime could be staring us right in the face.